Hi guys, welcome back to Brown's Family Homestead. In part one of our chicken coop transformation, we brought you along on this shed that we've had on our property that's really old, really worn out, and just really gross inside, but we're turning it into our dream chicken coop. So in part one, we brought you along on the process of that, but part two, we have it almost completely finished and we'll be showing you all of that. But also in this video, we're gonna include our top five things our chicken coop has with a lot of research that just makes sense. So if you wanna hear these things and watch our progress, Keep on watching and we have a lot of information for you. I'm here to make your life a little bit easier and I'm gonna give you the lowdown of this video and what to expect. So in the beginning portion of this video, we're gonna start off with the progress, the part two. We got the interior, I think pretty much done yeah it's done so we're gonna show you that and we have about a week's worth of footage that we're gonna bring you guys along with and then we're gonna dive into the top five things that our chicken coop that has that just makes sense I wouldn't say our chicken coop is the most self-sufficient chicken coop in the world but it is pretty dang self-sufficient so if you want to keep watching that we'll show you the things that we implemented that you may want to implement in your chicken coop to make your life a little bit easier and then we're gonna be showing you the exterior of the chicken coop because that will get finished in the springtime because a lot happened with the exterior. It's all coming together. It's dreamy and beautiful. And then the last part of this is I'm gonna be showing you how I'm going to decorate inside of the chicken coop, which is not your typical Pinterest chicken coop. That is for sure. It's weird and cringy and unique. It's one of those chicken coops that you're gonna step in and it's gonna be like, wow, I was not expecting that, which was all on me. So the color you're gonna see your coop isn't probably what you're gonna expect. So keep watching and you'll see the weird ways that I'm making it just us and fun and quirky and it's great. So we have a lot of um, good information for you guys and some fun content. So keep watching and we'll show you everything. Shelving. We've probably been gonna, saving egg cartons for years. Probably going to have to get a third shelf, um, move everything up a little bit, but then this is our newest thing for our egg box or for our laying boxes right here. We just put this thing down and uh, reach in and get them. So. And we did switch the store. Somebody commented, and I noticed this when I first came in. Somebody said you might want to switch the door the other way so it doesn't yeah, go in and ruin the bedding. So here it is. <laughs> it's shocking. It's pink in here, and just wait till I decorate it because it's going to get even weirder. But 
So talk to them about what these things are. So this is the, it's a five gallon water and we had the, the nipples or these little cups. So I think we're going to go with the nipples instead of these cups because I heard they're a little bit cleaner. Um, so this is five gallons though. We wanted something halfway big. Uh, we don't really want to deal with the ones that sit on the floor. So we mounted it to the wall. That's for a five gallon. Um, it is insulated in here, but it's still pretty chilly. You can see our breath. Um, so outlets right here connected to a GFI where we're going to have a, like an 80 watt heater in here and it's got a thermostat on it. So it keeps this thing from not freezing. This is a feeder. They're both from um, Rent-A-Coop. We did a lot of research and they seem like they're really good quality. Uh, Rent-A-Coop has feeders, waters, a whole bunch of chicken accessories. This is, I guess, good for, it's got the slots in there where they can't whip their head around and throw their food everywhere. The cool thing about this is it handles a whole 50 pound bag of feed. So that's huge for us. We want animals on this property, um, but we want to kind of streamline everything to where we're not needed every single day in this coop. Um, you know, yeah, we want to come out and get our eggs and stuff like that, but we don't want to be filling up little, little mason jars full of water and food and stuff every day. So um, that's what we're doing. That's flooring? 50, yeah, the flooring is just sheet vinyl and uh, it's, it's really waterproof. So uh, if water gets spilled somehow or, or the poop and everything like that, we're going to use, I don't even know what it's called yet, but it's like the, it's the layering system where basically you just, you put shavings down and then you let them do their business on it for a couple weeks and then you put another layer and then let them do the business and then another layer. And a lot of people are cleaning coops out like twice a winter or even once a winter. So we're going to try to do that because then all that stuff is really good compost after that. Um, these are the roosting bars. That's a two by three board, not a two by four. It's a two by three. They're not like sharp. They're rounded. Yeah, they're all rounded on, on the edges. Um, we did the square footage for this room. It can handle technically 21 chickens. We have 18 coming. So if we want a couple more, we can handle just a couple more in here. Um, and then for these bars, I think it could handle like 25 chickens for the square footage or something. So we're well within that. And then this is from Duncan's Family Farm uh, store. And it's a, it's a six box little laying box thing. And um, it had the best reviews. Uh, it's kind of cool. It seems like a little family run business and made in the USA, which we like. And then we have an automatic. Yeah, we have an automatic chicken door. So that is on a, it's either on a timer or it's on like a photo cell. I haven't pulled the instructions out yet. But. So we were originally going to have free range chickens, but if you look out here, we have gotten multiple opinions. We have no shelter for any chickens to be protected from hawks. We do get pretty bad hawks. So we have decided until we have some guardian dogs and planted trees, we're just going to have a run that extends out here just to keep them safe because we just heard it's pointless. It's just going to be, it's just going to be um, a predator heyday. <laughs> There's Ange. If we were to free range and we just don't want to risk it, we will be building a run soon. That's the next thing, but we have a window put in here and then window here. This, again, in our previous video was just a barn that was existing on our property. It has great bones. I'd love to dry herbs and like wildflowers on here. And I don't know what we're gonna use it for yet, but. We're gonna have one, one of these rooms are gonna be a processing room. So we're gonna yeah. outfit it with stainless steel tables and some good, you know, washable boards on the walls and stuff. And this will be our room for processing meat birds in the future and our deer and things like that that we get from the property so and we ran electrical so everything yep. works in here now yeah we have we have electrical on the exterior too in case we need it for the garden that'll be close and by. that little buddy up there which freaked me out when he first put it up there mm -hmm. talking exterior we really want the barn to be white with a black roof we want uh two steel doors on it 
they have the galvanized lighting which I think is really a soft look on white um, I'm not sure what color trim we want around the windows or door yet and that's dependent on what colors we paint the door if it's either white or black but right now I'm kind of leaning more towards white so that'll get done in the springtime this is the side that you can see from the shed, you can see it from the Barnuminium, and this is where I really want those crisscross climbing vines or climbing roses. And then this is a side that you'll see from our forever home. You can see it from the Barnuminium. The run comes off of this side, and this will just be a run coming off of a garden. This is kind of the area where our greenhouse will be, our big garden. You can see the hydrant, and we'll have everything accessible right there. So that's the exterior. It'll happen in the spring. Okay, my kids are sleeping right now, so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to show you how I'm decorating the chicken coop. So as you can see, the chicken coop is pink. I've never seen a chicken coop pink before, but Ange, my husband, asked me, what color do you want to pick? Can't be white. And so I said, let's do pink. And then my brain started flowing from there on. So I would say it, the theme is very... 70s but also very miami you can't pinpoint a label on it it's just gonna be weird that's pretty much it but i'll show you i'm putting up curtains in the chicken coop are they gonna are they gonna smell yeah they will but it's a chicken coop it's everything's gonna smell so the curtains have to be hemmed they're a little bit too long but it is this banana leaf pattern <laughs> So those are the curtains and then I will be having hanging um, macrame type. It's a um, greenery pot holder that you can put a plant in and it hangs. I got two of them. So it will be two like fake plants hanging from the ceiling that they can't get. But the cherry on top of this chicken coop is this. And for some reason, my husband's like totally fine with me doing this. I don't know. I don't know why. It's weird. But this is the best part. This. I had to Google, can chickens be around disco balls? Because I didn't know if this would just damage them, their eyes. <laughs> we will have a disco ball hanging in our chicken coop. And I think it's going to be absolutely stunning in the daytime because we have that big natural light and it's just going to reflect off of the sun and I think it's going to be beautiful. But yeah, so another thing that we want to get is I'm on the hunt for pictures of chickens in swimsuits. I found a rooster and I'll post it here on Amazon of a rooster in a swimsuit and I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to get it and hang it in there. But I really want like weird I'll just put some inspiration right here because I I don't know how to tell you my what's in my brain because my brain is cluttered right now so anyways that is how I want to decorate it so if you want to watch part three I'm gonna put it pull it all together and it's gonna be the most beautiful chicken coop I've ever seen and the weirdest one I hope you learned something from this video and we have been researching and listening to a lot of podcasts on people that have had chickens and just learning from the pros and so I feel like we're getting there we're getting prepared um, again I think I don't know if I've said this our chickens don't come till June 6th because they were backed up so it's pretty late to get chickens but we're okay with it um, we're getting 18 we're getting one rooster and then 17 hens and we're getting 12 different breeds so if you guys want to watch all that come to life and watch all this come to life, there's definitely going to be a part three on me decorating the chicken coop. But for now, I hope you liked this video and you learned something and hopefully you got a good laugh at how weird our family is. <laughs> but for now, that is it for today, guys. And we will see you again next weekend with a new video. Bye.